Oh, hi there. It's me, Monica. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Monica and welcome back to my channel, Money Reads, and this is another weekend vlog. And we're starting this on <laughs> Friday. I'm looking down because I have the date down here, the 27th of August, and it's currently 4 p.m. Uh, why? Because I've been lazy all day and I've been laying in my bed, which I um, aspire not to show you because it's unmade. It's not that bad. But anyway, um... I wanted to start a week in reading vlog because I've been feeling better this these last two days. I've actually finished two books in two days, which before this, that was the entirety of what I had read in the month of August. So, so far we're at four books and now I'm reading a physical book. Well, not physical, but I'm reading in my ebook. I'm reading To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers because Becky Chambers, I... I really needed like uplifting books and I think that the books that I have read this month have done that for me like they've been uplifting they've been like gentle and sweet and kind to me because right now I need people to treat me with like gentleness and kindness <laughs> so yeah um so what's the plan oh I brought the plan with me I really want to get through um the space between worlds by I'm sorry by Makaya Johnson. I really want to get through that one this weekend and what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept the fact that we're still in audiobook mode and even though I have an arc of it, I'm going to listen to it. Uh, that was my computer. To, I'm going to listen to it on audio and then and then I have a couple of options. Um, I was watching a video by a booktuber that I have been subscribed to for a while but that I haven't really I don't know, her content doesn't show up on my feed, but now I'm like liking all of her videos so her content shows up and I'm and I hit the bell button and that is Tori Morrow. But she is amazing and she has like all of the like sci-fi reads that I can't find, she has. So basically I am trying to find all of the books that she has uh, for free in a not in a pirating way which by the way don't fucking pirate books don't be that much of a dick uh, unless unless you are in dire circumstances in countries where you can't get them or something like that of course there are always nuances we talked about this but if you're just like in the US and want to read it just because like don't 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 do that. Don't do that with your privilege. But anyway, um, I'm looking for them, for example, through Scribd. Uh, I'm looking at it through Audible because I've got a couple of Audible credits that I can spend. So I have a few of them and I'm not sure which one I want to do because there is, um, I'm going to insert here, Calling Major Tom. I don't remember the author, but here you're seeing the picture. This is Feel Good Sci-Fi, which is exactly what I need. And then I have, oh, I just put it in here it's good morning midnight and that is by lily brooks dalton which is also apparently really uplifting sci-fi and that's what your girl needs right now she needs some uplifting sci-fi because i really haven't been reading as much sci-fi as i want to be reading and it's because all of it is depressing <laughs> not all sci-fi is depressing but sci-fi does tend to sometimes go into you know the why are we here do we even belong here? Let's have this planet eat us up. It's it's very it can be it can be a little bit intense. So that's the plan. Watch me not read anything. Um, but uh, yeah, first thing is uh, we're gonna read to be taught if fortunate. I think I can finish that today, and um, we'll get through the other two during the week. Both of them are eight hour books and I can finish on, on audio eight hour books in one day. But I would have to like pay really close attention. Also, again, those are just my students because we have class and everybody's like going crazy because <sighs> we're, we're just uh, we're just starting uh, this school year here in Spain and it's 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 a disaster and but I, I'm glad that we're starting up and like that I think that a routine will be really useful for me. I, I also want to address something else. God, this is like a five minute clip. But anyway, I want to address something that is that I don't look directly at the camera. 
Um, I also don't look people directly in the eyes. I'm trying, like, I'm really trying. I'm like, focus, focus. And it's not because I'm looking at the viewfinder, because if I was looking at the viewfinder, I'd be looking up. I look to the side a lot. And I, I, I don't know why I do this. I've done this all my life. I think it's because, um, I honestly think it was from when, when I was a child, I was a very timid child. And the way they got me out of that way, the way it was through... Um, acting lessons and going on stage but I learned that if you just didn't look straight at somebody but you know like you look to the side like if you're thinking it's not so rude uh, but just know that I do realize and I really do try to look at the lens of the camera but it gets a little bit intimidating I don't know why but that's just a little bit of tidbit of information also like a hat uh, I'm not a big fan of hats but I'm not gonna complain about growing out my pixie. I realized while I was editing my other video, my other weekend reading blog, that that is all I did. I just complained the entire time about my pixie cut. Uh, my own fucking fault. <laughs> so I'm sitting here, I've got class in 45 minutes, and then I'm gonna get to reading. And hopefully I'll just finish to be taught if fortunate today. I'm reading it on my Kindle, which is nice. Uh, I have to admit, that as much as I like physical books for the covers and for the pretty aesthetics of them, I actually prefer to read on my Kindle. That's a video that's coming all on its own. So, I'll catch you later. You know what my stupid ass just realized? It's Thursday, which means we're gonna call it a weekend vlog, but actually, it's more than a weekend vlog. It's gonna be <laughs> Wednesday, not Wednesday. That's, it's, it's Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I realized also that you are tilted. Again, metaphor for Monica's life. So I don't know if you noticed, but I'm in a good mood, which is wonderful. I think the more open I have been about my emotions and how I feel and everything like that, the more like positive I've felt. I think this is why therapy works. Because you, you, you take the things from inside and bring them outside. And once they're like, they're inside, they seem so big that they seem like you're never going to conquer them. And once they're out, once they're out there, you realize that perhaps you had made this whole thing seems so big and it really wasn't as big I'm not saying that my family dying wasn't big but I'm saying that talking about it with a therapist and that expressing my hurt and my feelings and also allowing myself time to heal like for example letting go of um, certain things that I was hanging on to like reading books that were reminding me of family losses and stuff like that that has all come together and um right now i'm feeling great i also had a change in medication but that's another story but anyway this is my kindle and let's see where we are i am 23 percent in to can you see that will it focus will it yeah see i'm 23 percent in to this book which is <laughs> to be taught if fortunate um, so far I'm really enjoying it. It's kind of weird, but I always feel like that way about sci-fi. Like it's kind of weird and you're like, what the fuck is going on for half of it? And then suddenly it all makes sense. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of chaotic energy, which is really good because like that's my natural state. Like I'm a very chaotic person. I start my semi-regular schedule on Monday which I am both excited and not excited about because I gotta get up early. But you know, gotta make the money to not spend it. <laughs> um, what else uh, can I tell you? So yeah, I have made the decision after consulting Twitter that I'm definitely gonna get to uh, the space between worlds. I'm happy that it's not a YA. I'm sorry for my YA lovers. I just don't wanna read YA right now or hardly ever. And what else? What else? Um, yeah, so that's the plan for now. Just these two books. And then I will choose a third book from the ones that I said before or just a completely different book. Um, I once again didn't read To Kill a Kingdom. Do I want to read To Kill a Kingdom? I don't know. I really like talking to you guys. It's 
it's very therapeutic for me but alas I am going to play video games with my friends um, and then I'm gonna get to reading this and I will update you when I have anything to update you on it's me again I, who else did you expect it's my channel but anyway um, I have to say something about Becky Chambers and her writing what is this what happened to my shirt I don't know but anyway I have to say something about Becky Chambers and her writing and it's the fact that she just casually puts polyamory and bisexual relationships into her writing and doesn't like make a big song and dance about it it's like yeah we'll buy we're doing it they're doing it everybody's doing it and it's fine like whatever <laughs> so yeah I just started reading I was editing a video for you that you're gonna see before this one so I'm gonna go back I just wanted to say that about Becky Chambers thank you Becky Chambers for treating bisexual and polyamorous people like we're human beings cuz that's what we are and thank you for not making our sexuality or sexual preference um, like the main plot of your stories but just adding them in there because we exist thank you Look at the cat. Oh, I'm gonna fall so you can see the other cat. We've got cats. But anyway, um, hi. It's not that late. Not that late. It's like 11. And, um, I was reading To Be Taught If Fortunate. But I'm tired and I don't want to read anymore. And I'm on page 90. The book I'm looking for my ebook here where is it here it is the book is really good so far it, there's nothing wrong with it but you know friendly reminder you don't have to force yourself to read unless you feel like reading and right now I don't feel like reading anymore after reading 90 pages so I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna finish it tomorrow or the next day or whenever I feel like finishing it um Something happened, by the way, in, in, I'm holding it up like if it was the cover. Um, something happened in the, the, the book that was rough. I was not expecting it and it kind of, it kind of threw me off my game a little bit. Threw me off my game a little bit, but that's okay. We're just going to leave it till tomorrow. And right now I'm going to like watch, I don't know, some nailed it on Netflix or something or oh my back hurts. hopefully tomorrow I wake up in a better mood uh, not a better mood but I was in a really good mood today so yeah I'll see you tomorrow Friday which would honestly should have been the start of this vlog but I do what I want <laughs> I'll talk to you guys tomorrow good morning <laughs> it is currently 1 20 p.m. So I guess it's not good morning. Although in Spain it is. Do you know that you say good morning in Spain until after lunch, which is at 3 p.m.? Because the Spanish just have weird schedules. But anyway, I'm in my dark, happy place, which is my room. <laughs> and it is Friday the 28th, so it is now officially a weekend vlog. I'm just adding that other stuff I added Thursday because see today I thought it was Saturday but no it's actually Friday which is good um I don't have much of an update except to tell you that I am awake I have not read anything um I I how am I feeling about to be taught and fortunate I am not feeling the Becky Chambers love as hard as I was when I read her other books it's still good and I think now that I'm past the halfway point we're getting to the place where I want to be that sounds weird anyway we're getting to like her writing I think this is going to be a sadder novel than her other novel her well novella than her other novels which you know is not what I was looking for I was looking for feel good science fiction but you know you know it's okay I can take it um I'm not feeling my best today not like yesterday where I was feeling really really well today we're a little bit down I woke up with anxiety because I had not nightmares but I did have a, a very interesting dream 
um, I, I tweeted about it. It was like a 1950s sapphic love story between these two girls and then they had a cousin and they all wanted to go to Paris and it was like, like a group of four girls. I actually wrote it down. Like I woke up and wrote it down because I thought that would be an interesting story. But for that, I would actually have to be a good writer to write it down. <laughs> Self-deprecation. You know it. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just kind of chilling like a villain. Anxiety is a little bit on the high point today. So we're going to finish this mother because I think that finishing it will give me a sense of completion and a sense of completion will make me feel much better than I am feeling. So we're going to do that and then I will update you again. Probably, you know, I don't spend all day in here. Well, okay. No, yeah, I do. I, I really do. Um, I'm looking forward to going back to work simply because I, I think part of my anxious, like, like, part of the anxiety is that I have no change of space. I'm just currently in the same space all, all of the time and, you know, it's, it hasn't been the best for my mental health. But clearly nothing this year has been good for my mental health or anybody's. So I'm going to leave you. I'm going to sit my ass down. I almost got it on audiobook because let me tell you something. If it wasn't for audiobooks, we would have to wrap up this month except for like, hey, I read the back of like the shampoo bottle and it was great. I also, also, I have a video that I plan to film all about tags and how they're filler content and how that pisses me off because a it takes just as long to make as any other video b you have to think of answers and c like what is what is not filler content when it comes to our beautiful channels i mean we read books and we talk about them on the internet i mean i'm not saying that books are not important but do any of us really do anything but filler content? And what's wrong with a little bit of extra content when you are like managing a life and then also you are doing this for free, most of us, by the way, because most of us are not monetized. So, um, yeah, but that's not this video. This video is a reading vlog, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna read and I'll update you when I have anything to update you on. Hey, it's me again. And I finished To Be Taught If Fortunate. And what are my thoughts? What are my thoughts? I have a lot of thoughts. I feel like I wasn't in the right mental state to read this novella and I feel like if I had been feeling better personally, I would have enjoyed it a lot more. But in the end, the thing is, I did enjoy it. Like, I enjoyed it a lot. It didn't go where I thought it was going to go, though. And um, here's the thing. In my Kindle, it said I had 13 minutes like left of the novella. And then it ended. So I was like, wait a minute, where's the rest of it? Well, it turns out that after the novella, there's the first chapter of her other book, A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. So I kind of was like, it, that's the problem with, with ebooks. Like, you can't physically see where, where it ends. And then when it ended, I was like, oh. Um, I, I think... I, I think that I really, I know, I know I really, really did enjoy this novella. I just think that um, I was mentally not at a great place for where it went. So that kind of, that, that kind of diminished it a little bit. But you know what, I think the more I sit with it and the more I think about it, the more I think this is another five star read for me for uh, Becky Chambers. Um, she has become one of my favorite writers this year. So anyway, what do we have up next? Up next, I decided to go with The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. I'm really excited to read this. I think I read, I, I need a fast paced read and I need something to kind of get me out of the funk that I am in. And I think that this is going to do it. Also, it's my first art. Like, it's my first advanced reader's copy. And I want to read it. Although, I'm going to audiobook it. Because your girl's still in a reading slump. And if I'm not doing audiobooks, this is, like, not going to happen. Anyway, yeah. To be taught and fortunate. 
See, the more I think about it, the more I love it. I think this is gonna be a Solaris thing. Like, I finished it and I was like, kind of stunned for a bit. And then I had to like really let it like settle inside of me. Like I actually cried reading it, but you know, I cry, I cry at everything. So I don't know if that counts for anything. But yeah, I think uh, up next, I'm just gonna read a nice, uh, really fast paced sci-fi. So it's 8 p.m. Um, I don't know if I'm going to update you again tonight or i'll update you tomorrow which actually is saturday i've been i've been like on a saturday for two days so yeah catch you later <laughs> have i been in my bedroom all day yes is this conducive to my my mental health no <laughs> however I did read about 20% of the space between worlds. It's right there. Thoughts. Um, not liking the main character so far. Uh, I'm kind of confused. But then again, I was kind of reading it to read it, you know, and I wasn't, I was listening to the audiobook and I wasn't paying that much close attention. But so far, um, I'm confuzzled. I don't, I, I'm not, I just realized, I was talk, I, I, I was tweeting about this, about reading, what is wrong with my hair? About reading Recursion, re, Recursion, Recursion, I had never said that out loud, by Blake Crouch, and the thing is, I don't think that I am a fan of time travel. Well, I did like the milkweed, the milkweed triptych which I talked about before. So, I mean, I'm still gonna give it a chance. I'm not gonna DNF it. Um, it wasn't as bad as Red Rising and Infinity Sun, so yeah. But um, it could also be, again, my mood. I'm not enjoying it because of my mood, you know? I don't know if this is focusing on my face or not. But yeah, it's like 11 right now so I'm gonna go to sleep tomorrow I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna eat at our favorite restaurant and I'm really excited about that really really excited about that and yeah well oh my god and tomorrow it's going to be a nice high of 24 degrees Celsius I'm not gonna do that conversion right now for you but for those of you that speak Fahrenheit here it is um, and it's the coldest it's been in months and I am so excited. I already have my, like my outfit planned. That's how excited I am. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go to bed now and I will see you tomorrow morning. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better mental health day. See, this is the thing. Like on Thursday, I was all up high and feeling good and everything and then because I didn't sleep well and because I woke up late and then I, I was anxious and I had nightmares, my mental health went down the drain again and I, I was having a moment where I'm just sick and fucking tired of being an immigrant. Because I'm not like, you know, it wasn't like I found a job in Spain and I was like, oh, I'm gonna move to Spain with this new job that's gonna offer me all these benefits. I literally like, escaped my country and I it's really hard because in my country even though it was like or is war torn and it's a disaster and everything I had my life set you know I had the dream job I had a house that I didn't even have to pay mortgage for I I had my family around me and then it was like at 30 that all got taken away and it was like here you go start from zero and I've done really well I think but it's just hard M being an immigrant like I hate people that think immigrants are just coming and they're taking our jobs and it's like if you knew how hard this is like I would never do this willfully like if 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 I had had a, a choice to stay in my country 
and have a future where I wouldn't be scared of like death you know I I wouldn't be here I love my country I want I wish I could go there so yeah I, I've had that in my mind all day. My camera is flashing, so I'm just gonna bid you good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm just checking in because right now, as you can see by the fact that I don't look like total garbage, <laughs> I am getting ready to go out with my husband. So I am going, we're going to just walk around this outlet mall. I'm obviously not gonna buy anything, but I just, am I the only one that just enjoys walking around? in the mall and seeing the clothes and everything. I actually do enjoy it and I don't plan on buying anything, but you know, we're gonna go there and then we're gonna go eat. So there won't be any reading done, but when I come back, I definitely plan on reading it because I'm feeling a lot better today. So I will see you when I see you. Hey, it's currently like 5 p.m. and we just got back from our outing and I just wanna like touch on something really quick. First of all, look at my eyeshadow. I look fucking cool. Um, green is definitely in my color. Speaking of, look, look, isn't this a thumbnail moment? Two books. And I know you're thinking, Monica, aren't you on a no buy? Um, I decided that I am gonna allocate myself 20 euros per month, per month, um, to buy little frivolous things here and there. Um, uh, the, between everything going on and just a complete no buy it was a little bit difficult but I stuck to my budget and I only bought these two and they are middle grade sci-fi and because I you've noticed in my vlog that I haven't been feeling the best middle grade is always such a great way to feel good because I feel the stories are I don't know I guess because they're read, written for kids the author puts like a lot of care and love into them and like it makes them feel good and this one is called The Wild Robot. Uh, this was by Peter Brown. This is about a robot that wakes up in the wilderness and um, she doesn't know why she's there. She has no idea about anything and it does say she by the way. And then she slowly befriends the animals and the island where she wakes up starts to feel like home until one day her mysterious past comes back to haunt her. And it says a heartwarming and action-packed novel that is thought-provoking as it is enchanting. So I got this one. This one, both of them were 8 euros I believe. And then I got Orion Lost. And this is about the, the trans the transport ship Orion is four months out of Earth when catastrophe strikes, leaving the ship and everyone on board stranded in deep space. And by the way, this is like the sci-fi that I love. I love like space exploration sci-fi. Like, I don't know. I, does that make any sense? I don't know. But anyway. Suddenly, it's up to 13-year-old Beth and her friends to navigate through treacherous and uncharted territory to reach safety. But a heavily damaged ship and an artificial intelligence that Beth doesn't know if she can trust means that getting home has never been so difficult. That sounds like a lot of fun. See, these sound like fun books that I can get through and that won't make me feel things like, oh my gosh, I have been thinking of To Be Taught If Fortunate, which is the book that I finished yesterday, ever since I finished it. It's definitely a five star. I, I just, it really, I wish I had read it when I wasn't feeling like I was feeling yesterday because it was really tough. It was really tough. Um, today I actually didn't take my meds until I got home because I forgot and we had a really tough time at the mall. There was a moment where I was like freaking out and we were like, should we, oh, this, by the way, this is nothing, <laughs> like this is nothing bad. It was just that I was testing out um, eyeshadow. Um, and why am I wearing eyeshadow now? Uh, because I'm avoiding sleep, so I was like, I'm gonna go and play with my makeup a little bit, and I decided to use this eyeshadow, and I think I'm gonna use this look for my next video. I really like this filming area. I, like, I, I think that I like all filming areas except the area that I film, because right now I'm right in front of a window, the light is making me look luminous and beautiful, <laughs> and when I'm filming next to my shelves, I'm actually, like, the, the window is, what is that called? It's, like, it's here. <laughs> what is that called? 
diagonal, I guess, to me. And it, it I, there's like no definition between the back and the front, and it's, it's, it's a mess, girl. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to update you guys. I'm gonna go now listen to the space between worlds. I'm not really enjoying it so far. I'm not enjoying the characters. I think I said that last night. I wasn't connecting with the characters. But um, I'm gonna push through and see if it gets any more interesting. I there I think that I wasn't paying attention when I was like listening the first time. So there's like missing information in my head. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it because I only have like nine hours of the audiobook left and I can definitely do that in a day or maybe in a day and a half and then tomorrow I'll do something else, but we'll see. And I don't know, I really want to get to these so soon. I really do. Like, look, like they're so cute. And then my cat in the back, girl, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put these away. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, those were 9 euros and then I got the eyeshadow for 1 euro. It was like a super steal. So, it's wet and wild if you're wondering. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Because Rodrigo's like trying to play a game and he can't like speak with his friends while I'm recording. So, bye. What's up? It's Sunday. I read absolutely nothing yesterday and I do not regret it one little bit. <laughs> Here's the thing, it's not that I didn't want to read, but I ended up doing a lot of socializing yesterday with like my mom and stepdad and my husband. So honestly, I was just kind of being social, like we were talking, my husband and I decided to watch um, Queer Eye for like hours last night. And it was amazing and instead of just going to bed and each of us grabbing a book and reading we just did that and that was really nice it was a nice experience and yeah, let's see other than that um hmm, how's my mood today it's okay I'm not feeling like my best I don't know if you can tell from the fact that I'm wearing my glasses and this hat and everything but um, body wise Today, I'm not feeling amazing. So, yeah. Um, also, do I want to keep reading this? I think we're putting her down now, for now. Because I'm just not enjoying it. I mean, I could give it a try today. I'm going to give it a try today and see if um, that's something that I want to do. But, um, I don't know if it is. I know it seems like I'm like really on a downer, but honestly, it's, here's the thing. I start work on Monday and I start early for me because usually I work afternoons and I start at nine in the morning. So I could have slept a lot more today, but I didn't because I had to wake up early. And here's the coffee that I'm drinking. I'm not gonna show you what it's of because fuck that woman. But yeah, yeah I'm not like gonna you know, put her merchandise up on my channel. So there we go. Um, this is such a nonsensical thing. I've been listening to a lot of music lately, which is very strange for me because I don't listen to music and I've been listening to everything and when I say everything I mean everything Blink-182 has ever put out like I've been listening to all of Blink-182 all of Boxcar Racer all of Angels and Airwaves and that's basically what's been keeping me going lately <laughs> um, yeah Blink-182 like I tried, oh, I, I think I think I talked about this, that I tried listening to like Taylor Swift's new album. It was okay, I wasn't obsessed with it, but I think if I had been younger, I would have really liked it. I also listened for Heather, to Harry Styles for the first time, and I think, again, if I had been like in my college years, I would have liked it. And then I listened to BTS, and I'm really glad you guys like it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I've just been listening to Blink-182 over and over and over again. And it brings me joy. I know Blink-182 is not like the greatest band ever made, but you know, I like it. 
This clip is just four minutes of me talking nonsense. So I'm gonna go and I'll update you if I read anything today. Or if not, I'll just end the vlog and tell you that I didn't read anything. How's that? <laughs> See you later. I look great. Yeah. Okay, so. Hang on, let's, let's look for somewhere to put you because I left my tripod. So it's Monday morning and I didn't do any more reading this weekend. I feel really guilty about putting up these vlogs where I read so little because literally I, I read a novella and then like 30% of a book. But then I think, how many people out there are not only just going through some shit, oh, hi Penny, <laughs> but also this is their normal reading because again i feel that booktube does not portray a real version of what reading is or what reading normally is for people because a lot of people just read a lot more you know so i think i am gonna post this video usually i would read like five books in the weekend or at least two books which I kind of did do, but I, I just, I don't know why there's this guilt inside. Like, why am I feeling guilty over the fact that I didn't read as much as I could have? I don't know. I really don't know. Also, I thought today was the 1st of September, so I like set my alarm clock to 7. And I woke up at 7 only to find out that it's August 31st. And I don't start classes until September 1st, so... I've been up, I was editing and I was thinking about it, but you know what, I, I think I am going to post this simply because I want people out there that watch booktube and watch booktubers to know that you, you're not supposed to, or it's like not a prerequisite of booktube, number one, to feel happy every day and to feel good enough to read. I know some people, again, I always say use reading as an escape, but I'm not one of those pre- I am not one of those people, not not one of those, yeah, people. Um, uh, for me, I have to be in a really good place to read, and I haven't been, so I haven't been reading that much, and that's okay. I'm sorry, I have the song Creep by Radiohead stuck in my head. I'm like, I wish I was special, <laughs> you know, like, I wish I could do it. No, not in the, not in the frame. <laughs> the cat was going to walk right through the frame. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, vlog. I know, again, I feel so guilty putting it because it's like, this is bookish content. But you know what? This is also bookish content. I did read. I did struggle. And as far as today goes, I don't know how today is going to go. I'm feeling a little bit anxious. So we'll see. But I am happy I got a video up and it's like... It has been such a long time since I get a video up where I feel you can see my personality and I feel that in this video, which I will link here, <laughs> you can see my personality the way that I am, how sarcastic I am, how silly I am, you know, stuff like that. Oh, should I get closer to the camera? <laughs> that feels weird. Thank you so much for watching if you did watch this. Thank you for understanding. Um, I hope this helps somebody out there. Realize that good days and bad days happen, good weekends and bad weekends happen. Um, um, I don't, I know that I seem a lot like up and down, up and down, up and down. Just so you know, this is something that I have talked to my, with my doctor and it's perfectly normal. You know, um, every month this year I've gotten, I've gotten some bad news of some sort, quarantine, everything we're bound to have ups and downs. So I don't, I don't want you guys to like, I have to like really go low here. I don't want you guys to, I, I don't want anybody to worry about that. My mental health is in the hands of a very, very, very good doctor. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my meds cause I haven't taken them, take a shower. There's a reason why the hat is still on. <laughs> Um, other than, you know, growing out my hair, which has been a process, and, you know, getting pimples. I, I'm not doing my best, so I'm just going to treat myself today. I'm going to treat myself, and I'm going to prepare my classes, because I got my schedule in today, this morning. 
And other than that, I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And that I love each and every single one of you. And please feel free to tell me how you're feeling in the comment section. And if you need anybody to talk to, just slide into my Twitter DMs. Twitter is always linked down below. Um, so yeah. I will see you all in a galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.